In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best 7 guns that I have used in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies over the last couple of weeks. I'm going to be going through 7 different guns that give us a nice variety of play styles. We've got assault rifles, shotguns, SMGs, all types of different things within this video. So you guys will have a gun for whatever your play style is within Zombies. Again, as always with these videos, these guns are in no particular order. These are just 7 of my favourite guns that I've been using as of late. And as per always, if you guys think I've missed out on any guns or you think there is a better class setup, then let me know what class you like to use in the comments below. Let me know the gun and all the attachments. I'll go and try them out in game and if they're good enough, I'll make sure to make a video on them. But let's get straight into the video as of right now. And the first gun we're going to be talking about, guys, is actually going to be the Renetti Pistols. You should be able to see the class setups on screen every single time I do go onto a new gun. So you will be able to pause it, copy down the class, go and use it in-game. We're going to be talking about the Renettis really quick. And the Renettis are absolutely amazing in this game. We have got a Kimbo. Both got 100 bullets in each magazine. A very, very nice class. You can get around the map ridiculously quick with it, especially if you've got stamina up on. The mobility is really, really nice. The time to kill is really good. It's going to take down normal zombies, armored zombies, boss zombies these mega abominations it's going to absolutely eliminate everything within this game which is going to be the case with all the guns that i do talk about because of course if they're going to be a good gun they should be good at doing everything within the game but the renettis are just super super fun to use like i said you've got the akimbo you've got that hundred round mag in each gun so you've got 200 bullets to get through with a ridiculously fast fire rate of course they are a burst fire rate so you are going to have to just keep tapping the triggers or tapping your shoot buttons but it's very very easy to use the renetti is just so so good it's super super powerful and i think you guys will be surprised at how quickly you are going to be able to take out zombies of this gun before we move on to the rest of the classes guys if you are new around be sure to subscribe the channel notifications turned on as it does really help me out if you do enjoy today's video be sure to smash a thumbs up and if you do want to become a member to the channel you can do so by clicking the join button next to subscribe which helps support me absolutely immensely but on to the next gun we are going to be talking about the brand new smg the fjx horus and this was, again, a new addition into the game, and maybe it's one of the reasons I've been using it, because it's not the most insane gun in the game. It's not going to absolutely blow your mind at how good this gun is, but it just gets the job done so well. It's just good against zombies, it's good against bosses, it's good against mega abominations. Again, it's got a great mobility speed. It's just an all-round really, really good gun. Like I said, it is a brand new SMG that has been added into the game, so if you guys yet haven't gone and unlocked it, I'd definitely recommend you do you go ahead and unlock it. You get it leveled up, and you take it in to the game with the class app that I was using, because it's just a really nice all-round gun. It is going to get the job done. You're going to absolutely have a lot of fun with this gun, for sure. It is one of the better SMGs in the game as of right now, at least from what I've been using as of late. And it seems a lot of people do have the same sort of thoughts with me with this FJX Horus. I know a lot of you guys have also been enjoying this new SMG that has been added. Again, like I said, it just is going to get the job done. It's going to make grinding tier 3 in the Dark Aether zone nice and easy. You're going to feel very comfortable with this gun. Of course, all the gameplays you are seeing, by the way, I do use a tier 3 pack punch and a legendary Aether tool. And some certain guns I will have mags of holding on. So you can pay attention into the bottom right-hand corner to what sort of the ammo type is. If I don't already mention the fact they've got mags of holding. But yeah, the FJX Horus, definitely a gun that I do recommend you guys do go ahead and level up and try out for yourselves because i think you will really really enjoy it the next one guys is actually a bit of a blast from the past if you played the og zombies back at the very very start of this game you will know the tyr pistols akimbo were ridiculously broken and they are very very good yet again and this is one that i do have mags of holding on because the one problem with the tyr that i always had was how quickly you ran out of ammo in each magazine we are going to have these akimbo and instead of having five bullets per magazine we are going to put mags of holding on allowing us just to spray these around and having this mags of holding acquisition on it wow this makes this gun absolutely broken you can take down boss zombies and mega abomination and things like that just so so quickly you're gonna to be too shot in the normal zombies in the tier 3 zone and then bosses aren't gonna take much more damage than that either these things are absolutely ridiculous at taking down boss zombies like i said they was good at the start then they had a little bit of a nerf you know you had five bullets in each magazine they weren't quite worth using but with the addition of mags of holding coming into the game these guns are absolutely insane yet again guys so i definitely recommend you do go and try out these tyrs if you're struggling to take down bosses to struggling to grind the tier 3 or the dark Aether zone this is genuinely going to make these zones so so easy in game they are going to melt through absolutely everything like i said the one thing you need to make sure you're keeping track of is the ammo count that you guys do have because you don't want to run out of ammo you are going to be able to get through the ammo pretty quickly with mags of holding but having mags of holding on these is just going to make them so so broken so fun to use and just overall one of the better guns within this game Next up is actually going to be the BP-50, guys. I see a lot of people still using this gun, and it is one that I still use myself as well. An assault rifle that got added not too long ago now, but the BP-50 is a really, really nice, all well rounded gun. It's got decent range on it. It's really good at taking down zombies. It's good at taking down boss zombies, but it really thrives at just taking down hordes of zombies. Like, you can just melt through zombies so, so quickly with this, which is what I really like, especially when I'm grinding, like, tier 3 uh, contracts or tier 3 loot, or even in the Dark Aether zone. This BP-50 is just so good at taking out hordes of zombies, which makes life so much 
much easier. Especially if you're with a squad that might have guns that are really good against bosses. You can just focus on the zombies or the BP-50. But if you do come up against bosses, the BP-50 is still going to do the damage. It is still going to take out the bosses. It is still very good against the bosses. Like I said, I just like it for taking down hordes of zombies. There's just something about it with hordes of zombies that I find really, really good. But like I said, if you need to take down boss zombies, you are still going to be able to do that nice and easily with this BP-50 class setup. Next up is another assault rifle, guys, and it is going to be the MCW. This has always been a very, very solid gun in zombies, and it is still, to this day, a very, very solid gun in zombies. I don't think the MCW has actually received any nerfs or maybe even got a little bit of a buff in zombies, but it's just a well-rounded gun. Like, similar to the BP-50, it's got good range. You know, you can take down zombies really, really nicely, but it's got a little bit more damage, I feel, against the bosses than the BP-50, but it might not be able to take down hordes of zombies so much. So you need to sort of balance that out. Are you going to try the BP-50 to take down more zombies, or are you going to try the MCW because it might do a little bit more damage against the boss zombies? But again, just like the BP-50, it's a very, very good gun to use. It's a very well-rounded gun to use. And again, it's just going to make those tier and dark ether zones so so easy to grind out because it's just one of them guns that is so powerful very very easy to use and i think you guys are really going to enjoy it if you do go ahead and try it out Next up, we're going to be talking about the Bruin, but not just the Bruin in particular. We're talking about the Bruin with the conversion kit. Again, you can see the class up on screen, so you can see the conversion kit that I'm using and the rest of the class. And this Bruin is my go-to gun at the moment. This is what I use for just grinding tier 3 and dark A for zones, especially if I'm off camera and I'm just trying to get some loot together to be able to record some more videos. This is exactly what I go and use. I just think it is so fun. I think it's so powerful. Like, this thing just melts through absolutely everything that's put in its way, whether that's a normal zombie, an armored zombie, mimic, mangler, disciples, abominations it does not matter what you're putting in front of this brewing with the aftermarket part equips it is gonna absolutely melt through everything in this game it is so fun to use one of my favorite guns like i said it's what i use just to grind off camera when i need some legendary for tools if i'm going into the game and i try and get some loot that is what i just use off camera because it is my go-to gun at the moment it is a very very fun gun to use and just because that's my go-to gun doesn't mean the other guns aren't good i do still use them from time to time but at the moment the brewing is just the one that i've got set up ready to go and i just feel super super confident with it i just feel comfortable i feel like i'm gonna be able to get through absolutely anything that is thrown in my way with this brewing it is just honestly one of the best guns that you guys could use right now so i definitely recommend you go and try it out and then finally guys we're actually talking about a modern warfare 2 gun which is going to be the lockwood 300 the double barrel shotgun and the double barrel shotgun isn't that great unless you put mags of holding on it because if you put mags of holding on it oh my god goodness you are gonna melt through quite literally everything with this lockwood 300 with the mags of holding acquisition on tier 3 pack a bunch legendary for tool nothing stands a chance against this gun if you've got mags of holding on it because of course the problem with this gun before is you had a maximum of four shots after pack a punch and you do get two extra shots i believe once you pack a punch the gun but even then four bullets really isn't a lot in a gun you're gonna have to reload all the time the reload speed isn't crazy fast even with speed cola but you put mags of holding on this it gives you unlimited ammo unlimited shots and you can just see from the gameplay you're probably seeing right now this thing is going to melt through zombies it is going to melt through bosses mega abominations tier 3 zone dark aether zone it does not matter what you are doing with this lockwood 300 you are going to literally melt through absolutely everything it is an insane insane gun so i definitely recommend you guys go and try it out if you haven't already but those are my top seven guns to be using in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies as of right now. Like I said at the start of the video, if you guys think I've missed out on any, if there's a gun that you guys think, Harry, you need to go and try this, please do let me know what gun it is and the attachments that you use, and I will definitely go ahead and try them out. And like I said, if there is one that is good enough, I will make a video on it, give you some credit at the start of the video as well. And if you have enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out the rest of the channel where there's a whole bunch of Zombies content that I think you guys will really enjoy. And if you do go on to enjoy it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turn on to miss any more times that I do upload on the channel. If you have enjoyed today's video, please be sure to smash a big thumbs up as it helps me out way more than you can ever imagine. And like I said, if you do want to become a member to the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button next to subscribe. And that is going to support me absolutely insanely. But I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.